Yeah, so those ones are not. There we go. We are properly hitting then. Hello there, and, and last time we left off, we were going to, uh, we were able to fire at each other, but the location of the fire, the bullets where they spawn, is not where we want them to be. We want to make sure they're they're aligned with um, the the turrets on the side. So we are going to get that corrected. So we'll go back to the player ship. And then the step event is where we had the fire location. Um, we, what we're going to do is take this similar thing where we were doing before, this move where we tested where we're going to be. We're going to take this code and alter it to be, um, instead of up and down, front to back on the ship, we're going to do it side to side. Because we're trying to move 12 pixel over, pixels over to the side of our from the center of our ship. So we're going to go ahead and just borrow those. We'll call this a fire X and fire Y. And down here we're using new angle, which is image plus angle. I think we're just going to use this. I'm going to call it a fire angle for fun. It's just to make it different. So we're going to determine our angle of our ship, which will be a fire. We don't need to adjust the 90, 90 degrees because of the way game maker determines the angle we're going to take that and determine one unit in any direction so to the right or the left so we're we are creating them Twelve units to the right and twelve units to the left. Let's see if this works. Because we're trying to determine here is one unit to the right. And one unit to the left. And then same as here, but we're going to make a negative 12, negative 12. All right. So yeah, now we're actually firing out of the ship. Uh, let's get the other ship moving so we can see it. Yeah, so we're actually shooting exactly where we want to be from the, the side of the ship. Where the turrets are, then that aligns nicely. So the reason why we did a, an X and a Y is because we're at an angle. And so we will have a, a right and a left, and then an up and a down. So we're just trying to translate the number of units we're trying to move. So if we're... You, Going right and left, we're using this angle. If we're going up and down, we'd use the other one. So we'd really just, that's kind of how you figure your offsets depending on your angle. Um, so let's go ahead and make it a little, what else are we going to add here? going to add a like a smoke object so 
Right now we generate the sparks, but maybe we'll want a little more visual effects. So we're going to create, we created a sprite, which is just a box. Made a three by three, um, just a white box. So we're going to create, make sure let's get rid of this one. Let's delete that. And we're going to duplicate the spark because the spark still has pretty much the same things we want in it, but a different image. And there's no lifespan. So here we don't really need the, all these different lifespans. We're just going to make it a basic basic image that will sit there and uh, dissipate. And we're going to give it an image, uh, a random opacity. We're going to keep it where it's at. Your speed. So at a collision, okay, where a bullet hits something, we want it to create this, so many of these, I guess, smoke around. So when the bullet, I guess the bullet doesn't collide here, we can actually add an event um, when this gets destroyed. So we're going to create the other uh, let's see, oh, on, on destroy. We're going to just spawn a couple of these. Let's say one to three of those. Maybe one to five. We'll try it out. We're going to repeat it. Create an object. So in the location that this gets destroyed, we're going to create our smoke. And we're going to give it a random direction. And we're going to give it a random speed. And because this is smoke, we're just going to give it a very small speed. From moving nowhere to maybe a half or a third half. So let's try to see what this looks like. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to fix that because if it goes off the screen, it's destroyed as well. So, so let's fix that. Oh, that's probably why. Right there. So 
So my lifespan ends before they. Is that right? Another player ship. Uh, we hit. Oh, yeah, here we go. So on our hit, our other with other, which will be the bullet. We weren't actually destroying it when we hit an object. So let's go back here. Yeah, so those ones are not. There we go. We are properly hitting then. That works much better. So before we weren't actually destroying our bullet when we hit. Didn't realize it because of all the sparks. Now that works much better. All right, until next time, uh, good luck hunting. Character moves around the screen. I don't have anything to keep him on the screen.